Client side and server side rendering are two different approaches used to render websites and web applications built in React, Vue.js, Next.js, and more. Here's what they are and why they are very important. The main difference between client side and server side rendering ultimately boils down to how the site is returned to the browser from the server. Since the dawn of time, the conventional method for getting a web page to a browser has been server side rendering. When you visit a website, the browser makes a request to the server that contains the HTML and other files for the website. The server processes the request and returns the complete HTML file that is displayed on your screen. The HTML file might look something like this. Any subsequent JavaScript files embedded in the HTML are then loaded, after which the website becomes interactive. Navigating to another page on the site will result in a new call to the server to return the entire HTML file for that page, even if the page is marginally different from the previous page. As you'd imagine, this isn't super effective, but it works. In client-side rendering, the contents of the website is rendered on the browser using JavaScript. So instead of getting all the contents of the HTML file, the server sends the bare-bones HTML document along with the JavaScript needed to render the rest. This might look something like this. In this example, we can see the app component here along with the JavaScript files required to build out and render the app component on the browser. The initial load time for client rendered sites might be longer because the web page isn't displayed to the user until all the JavaScript file has been downloaded and the site has been built. Server side rendering is better for SEO since all the contents of the site are available all at once and it doesn't need to be built. It's also great for static sites. The major drawback is the frequent server requests to load each new page. It can be time consuming for large files. On the other hand, Client-side rendering is great for web applications and is super fast after the initial load since the JavaScript required to build all the pages on the site are available or cached on the browser. The major downside is it might be low on SEO if not optimized correctly. It also requires external libraries to make things work. By default, most JavaScript frameworks use client-side rendering, but a mixture of client-side and server-side rendering can be used to achieve optimal performance. If you have any topics you'd like to see me explain, leave them in the comments below, and as always, Follow Umakos for more coding tips like this.